Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate and if you're not, welcome back. Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is on my wedding registry. I know when I was trying to figure out what to register for, I was searching for these videos and just watching so many of them. So I figured I would make my own and share with you guys everything that Justin and I have put on our registry. For those of you who are new to my channel, I am getting married. I'm getting married this September, so I'm super excited it's just a little bit under six months until we get married so um, yeah we pretty much sent out all of the invites and now um, and we made our registry which was super exciting and yeah now I'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that I put on there so without further ado we're gonna jump into all the products I am gonna have them linked down below I'm not gonna link my registry just so that people don't accidentally buy stuff on our registry so yeah, I'm gonna have everything linked below. Um, so if you guys wanna add them to your registry, you can go ahead or if you you know, need some new inspiration for <laughs> something that you need in your house, um, this video is good for that too. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump in um, to all the products. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with discussing who my wedding registry is with. So personally, Justin and I chose to go with Zola just because it's this website where you can pretty much link from, <laughs> they have a lot of products. So if you like Crate & Barrel and you wanna register with them, you can do that, but you can also get Crate & Barrel products on Zola. So they partner with a couple of brands. I don't know too much about it other than the fact that you can honestly, they have a lot of brands. So if you like Crate & Barrel, if you like, um, I know they have Brooklinen on there, they have Macy's, um, a lot of just like, stores that they partner with so they honestly have a lot of options i know you can also register with amazon and crate and barrel and i don't know macy's just like those kind of stores you can honestly register with anyone oh and also bed bath and beyond you can do that as well but personally what justin and i first did was we decided to go in and register with crate and barrel because i love all of their home decor products like <laughs> they honestly have the most beautiful things so we went there just so we could kind of see what they had in store, kind of be able to pick up the objects and actually decide if we liked them or not. So we did that and then based off that, we then found Zola and figured out that we could actually register for everything that we found at Crate & Barrel on Zola and, and additional items. So that's what we've decided to do. So we are registering with Zola. So also for our wedding, we're honestly having a super small wedding. It's gonna be about 30, maybe 40 people at the absolute most. It's really just close friends and family. This mostly has to do with COVID just because a lot of my family is international so they won't be able to travel for the wedding. And yeah, so it's gonna be a small wedding. So based on that, we haven't registered for a lot of things. And also with that in mind, all of our stuff that we have registered for is very affordable. I know I've seen some videos where people are registering for like six, $700 products. And honestly, I just don't want my guests to spend that much money on our gifts. So because of that, all of our gifts are really affordable and kind of budget friendly. I know a lot of people have had hard times with COVID. And honestly, Justin and I are super blessed. We both have jobs. We can buy stuff ourselves and we also lived together before we got married and before we get married so we have a lot of stuff already and these are just kind of additional things that we would love to have or upgrade within our apartment so keep that in mind so without further ado I'm going to talk to you about what we actually registered for and don't mind me I'm going to be looking at my laptop because my list is on there and I'm <laughs> and I will include photos here so you guys can see all of the products the first thing we registered for was obviously an air fryer we do not have an air fryer fryer but everyone and their mom has an air fryer and all of our friends have said that we really need to get our hands on an air fryer so the air fryer we registered for was from ninja and it was originally $150 but the price on Zola is $130 so again a more affordable product um, so that's really amazing. We looked up reviews and apparently this Ninja one has really good reviews. So that's good as well because I know air fries can also be kind of expensive, but this one's nice. Um, it looks like it works really well for the price. So we registered for that and I'm really excited to be able to use that in our new house and be able to air fry things because it cooks so fast. That's going to be a game changer. <laughs> and then the next thing we registered for was a set of 10 piece, <laughs> 10 piece 
storage container set just because you can never have enough containers. Honestly, right now we do have some, but they're on the older side. They're stuff that was gifted from Justin's parents that they used to have. And so we wanted to have some more just because we love to cook and we love to cook. Oh, I don't love to cook. Justin loves to cook, but he likes to cook a lot of food. So we always love to have leftovers for lunch. So it's always good to have storage containers and you can never have too many. These were only $30 for a 10 of set. So I figured that was Perfect, it's definitely extremely affordable and they came with a bunch of different sizes. So some really large ones and then some smaller ones as well. So we registered for that because you can never have too many. <laughs> the next thing we registered for was this eight piece mixing bowl set from Pyrex. These are so good because we don't really bake but we're gonna use them a ton because you can also use them as storage for food because they have those silicone lids. So that's gonna be a game changer. Just being able to have mixing bowls when we do wanna bake or if I I want to you know if we want to do something and we just need a large bowl we have that and then obviously being able to then use it as storage and put it in the in the, in the refrigerator is going to be amazing as well and that was only $28.99 so another really affordable gift the next thing we registered for was a rice cooker we actually don't have a rice cooker we just cook rice like we cook rice like almost every day but we don't have a rice cooker and all of our friends that do have one say it is a game changer it's so easy so we registered for one from instant pot i have no idea if this is a good rice cooker but it was 40 dollars. it's very affordable and i feel like i'm sure it works just fine the reviews on there were they seemed good so i feel like it's fine but another affordable gift is a rice cooker so that we're going to use a lot so then we registered for a lot of stuff with crate and barrel so using the zola site so the first thing we registered for was this ren dinner plate set of four this is going to be Justin really loved these. This was one of the few things that we went in Crate and Barrel and Justin really loved. And so obviously we had to put it on the registry. And I think they're a really unique set of plates. This will be really good for entertaining and just to have additional plates as well. They're like a stone color. So I think it's really interesting and it looks really cool in person. So we registered for those. And again, those were super affordable, only $27.96. So that as well. And then we also registered for the Logan Stacking Dinner Plate set of four, which is just kind of a basic white plate, but I really like the lip of it. I think it makes it a bit more modern than an average plate that we have here already. So I thought that was kind of cool. And we registered, um, so it's a set of four, but we actually registered for two sets. So that was for both the Ren dinner plate and the Logan stacking dinner plate. So then we also registered for some wine glasses. So we registered for some red wine glasses from Crate and Barrel and then also the hip champagne glass from Crate and Barrel because we have a couple of wine glasses but they are from TJ Maxx. So they're not like the greatest quality and then we don't have any champagne glasses. So I figured it would be nice to have champagne glasses so we can toast when we have our new home hopefully next year. So that'll be really exciting exciting and the wine glasses came out to $51.80 and the champagne glass and the champagne glasses came out to $28 so very affordable we did register for two of those as well because they're sets of four so that way if we do entertain we have eight <laughs> so that will be really good as well okay so another thing from crate and barrel that we registered for was a stainless steel colander just because the one we have is really old so that's our explanation for needing a new one and like i said this was one of the few things that justin really wanted on the registry just because he loves cooking and he loves making pasta dishes and all sorts of stuff so it'd be really handy to just have a nice big colander so this one's going to be perfect and it's only $25. Then we also registered for these rectangular platters from Crate and Barrel so the first one was $15 I think that's obviously the smaller one and then we registered for another one that was a little bit bigger and that was $20 so that's just for being just so that when we do have people over we can serve things and plate things really nicely when we do eventually have a house and have dinner parties so that's going to be really nice as well another thing that justin really wanted was a good knife set so obviously knife sets are so expensive but we did find this one called the oh my gosh i'm going to butcher this name um but it's the modernist 13 piece knife block set from Henkels, I think <laughs> is how you say it, but it has really good reviews. The MSRP is $500, but for some reason on Zola, it's $160. So I'm not sure 
why it's so much lower on there but it does have really good reviews so we did register for that just because like I said Justin loves to cook so having quality knives is going to be huge for him. Then we also registered for another thing of Crate and Barrel. I we really love Crate and Barrel as you guys can tell and it is the Potluck Baking Dishes set of three so again this is going to be perfect for baking, making lasagnas, pasta bakes, um, all of that kind of stuff. Just something that you need in the house which we don't currently have so this would be huge to have this as well and that was only $30 as well. Then we also registered for some like little random things that we just don't have so we don't have like a good cheese grater so we registered for one from I think it's OXO or OXO and it's just $20 it's the good grips box grater and what's cool is when you grate it like goes into a little box which is kind of cool so it's not like messy or anything and we also registered for salt and pepper mills just because I don't know we needed some new ones and that was our reasoning so these were $40 they looked pretty cool I think they're electric so you kind of just press the button and it you know grinds out the salt and pepper so another random gift but just little things for the house that we're gonna need at some point point. and then I registered for this really cool um vase from Crate and Barrel. It's called the Lottie vase. I think it's so different and interesting. We only have glass vases and this is like a really unique one which I think will look really cool on like a kitchen island or on a um, like dining room table so I think that's going to be really nice so I can put fresh flowers in it and it's just really different and unique so I wanted that as well and that was only $35 <laughs> and then we also registered for another baking dis dish. This is a really large one so again Justin loves to cook and most of the stuff is cooking stuff so we registered for that so he can make baked lasagnas when we eventually have a family so he's obsessed with making lasagna right now and that was only $19. Then the next thing we registered for was a six piece set of towels. These are just white and it's just always good to have more towels so we registered for those as well so that's going to be nice to have some really soft towels to use. They're white so they look really good with everything and these were $64. And then another random thing that's on the registry is a measuring measuring cup because the one we have right now is plastic and honestly I broke it. Um, it's all chipped and that's totally my fault so I registered for one from Pyrex. It was $10 so a super cheap gift and it is just glass and I think it's going to hold up a lot more than the other one that we got. And then we also did register for a blender from Nutribullet, but we ended up having to buy it ourselves because we needed it. Um, our blender wasn't working at all. It wouldn't even blend a banana, so we had to go ahead and um, get it. But honestly, it works really well, so that's great. So I'll have that linked below since that was on our registry, but we just took it off. And then other than that, I know we're going to get some really good cutlery from my parents. So that's not on the registry because they already said they're getting us it. So that is another thing. We really love the ones from Crate and Barrel. So I'll have that linked below. But they're really like a modern kind of knife and fork set. So I think it's going to be really cool to have in to have and yeah other than that that's literally everything that we registered for. We really didn't register for a lot of things. I wonder if it tells you. I don't think it does, but the point is we really didn't register for a lot of things. This is more just for suggestions for when people come to the wedding and they're not sure what to really get us. These are a couple things that we would really love to have. Um, obviously, other than that, I know with Zolo you can also do cash funds as well, which is really interesting. So if you want people to help contribute to a date or an activity that you're going to do on your honeymoon or your honeymoon in general, you can do that as well. So Justin and I haven't done that. That saying we still have six months to the wedding so maybe that is something we will do um, is maybe put money towards the flights to the honeymoon or something like that again we don't even know where we're honeymooning just because with COVID we don't know what's going to be available so we're waiting till the summer hoping that more places will open up and we can do something cool for the honeymoon but our backup is Hawaii so that would be amazing just because it's in the US so it's more of a safer destination for us and other than that, I think, I'm pretty sure with Zola, whatever is not bought on your registry, you get for a percentage off. So I think it's like 20% off or something like that. So you can go in and buy stuff that people didn't get you. And also what is huge for us, since our wedding is up in Maine and we currently live in Florida, um, that you can actually have all of your gifts shipped to the apartment or the house that you're living in, which is amazing. So once 
the wedding is over um, or whenever they choose to ship the gift, it actually will arrive at your house instead of the wedding destination. So that way we're not gonna have to cart a bunch of gifts from Maine to Florida. So that's gonna be obviously really tough to do and a lot of expensive shipping costs. So that's one huge thing and one reason that we wanted to go with Zola just because of that little perk. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that's on our wedding registry. Like I said, I'll have all of the items linked below. And if you guys have been married, you guys have had a wedding, anything like that, comment some of your registry favorites that you got from your wedding because I'd love to know. We can always add new stuff to the registry, but like I said, we're keeping it super simple just because we're having a small wedding and we don't want people to spend a lot of money on us, even though obviously I would love some more expensive items. That's something that we can save on our own. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys loved this video. If you did, of course, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like and comment on this video. It really helps my channel grow. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Until then, bye everyone.